I've painted off and on my whole life. Actually, my degree is in painting, like from 1974, UCLA. Um, but I seriously went back to it about four years ago. And the reason was um, I was doing ceramic wall pieces that involved cave art, images, uh, modern animals like the polar bear I was putting into the context of cave art. Uh, because of the, the animal is, is almost gone uh, or severely threatened, like a lot of the animals that are gone that were in original European cave art. Um, plus, uh, myself and a lot of people are very drawn to the cave art animals. And I was doing a series of uh, stoneware pieces involving um, cave art style work. And I would fire them. And I'd look at them and think, oh no, this line needs to be changed. This isn't working right. There's this element that is not working. And I was trying to actually change that in a fired ceramic piece, which is really hard to do, <laughs> almost impossible. And after a while I thought, you know, what I have to say uh, doesn't have to just be said in clay. I can say it in other ways. So I realized, yeah, what about going back to, to painting? And um, I did, and I'm, it, it was just wonderful. Um, and I began by doing close-ups of animal eyes, uh, mostly in black and white, to try and really get into the soul of the animal. Um, and uh, I realized, too, that as I had had a mentor in ceramics my whole life, I needed a mentor for painting. Um, so I uh, talked to uh, Bill Shumway, the wonderful Corvallis painter Bill Shumway, and uh, he's become my painting mentor. And he's been a wonderful guide for me. And um, so with that, he's bringing me into more abstraction for now and more use of color. Um, I'll get back to the animals at one point in my painting, but for right now I'm jumping off into more abstract work. I think it takes courage and it takes self-trust to make changes and to do something different uh, in your career as a creative person. Um, I, I find taking risks, you take a risk every day when you do creative work. And um, there's a thrill about it. And I think it's important, too, that you learn to tolerate when things aren't going well. And that when your piece is a disaster and nothing's happening, uh, it's really important not to give up. It's important to put the piece away and look at it a couple days later or do something radically different to it. Uh, but again, that idea of, of self-trust uh, allows one to um, experiment freely. And to me, freedom is at the bottom or the, the base of all creative work. For somebody that's just starting out, uh, the advice I'd have is learn your craft. That uh, I don't think the actual craftsmanship in um, clay or in art, in painting, is uh, taught as much as it used to be. And I think it's really important to have fundamentals, really strong fundamentals. And um, so I would say learn your craft, either learn how to draw, learning how to draw if you're going to be a potter or a painter or a sculptor, learning how to draw I think is essential. Um, and then once you, you have those basic skills, then you can have the freedom to take off with that because you can forget those basic skills and it provides a solid structure for whatever you do after that. Uh, I would also say study nature. I'd say um, it's really important to observe nature and almost everything you need to know as a creative person can be found in nature. And it's an endless source of, uh, of joy and fascination. I'd say be curious. And um, I'd also say learn to trust yourself. And um, 
uh, to take your, uh, your um, to learn to listen to the voice inside because for any new person, any young person, um, for everybody, your voice and what you have to say is totally unique. Nobody could say what you have to say. And learning how to trust that is, uh, I think, really essential as a person and as a creative person. My upcoming retrospective for me is going to be extremely interesting to be in a room, a beautiful room at the uh, Benton County Historical Museum uh, where uh, I am and the viewer is surrounded by uh, 50 years of uh, creative evolution. Um, I, I, I'm excited about seeing how the work from different uh, parts of my career relate to each other and how the, ev the creative evolution of one person is on display. Uh, I have been the kind of artist that's never settled in with one thing or one style. I'm always moving. Um, I, uh, trying to always evolve and grow, and I think that will be uh, apparent in the show. And I hope it, 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 it invites the viewers to resonate with the creative process and uh, nature connection within themselves.